Da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. I have absolutely no idea why it's making that noise, but I do know that I am an expert at shucking hard drives with sharp objects. So I am very possibly going to take apart this robot today to see why it's making weird noises. And I figured if I'm gonna do something as adventurous as dissect a robot, I might as well get it on camera. I guess if I'm gonna take this apart, I better make sure before I really dive into this that, Dustbin it, removed. that it's not something super simple. Like, I guess, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's a used robot. Oh, shit. That's a used vacuum. I mean, you know, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. But when this thing is running right now, I smell like something burning. I don't know what that means. Even though the dustbin does definitely need emptied. I mean, that's, that shouldn't be the reason why it's making noise. So, hey, I haven't seen the inside of a robot vacuum. I bet you haven't seen the inside of a robot vacuum. So let's see the inside of a robot vacuum together, shall we? This vacuum was sent to me a while ago. I don't know, maybe a year. It's by a company, Zioia, right? They sent it in for review. I reviewed it. It's been a pretty decent vacuum. In fact, it's ran about every other day since then, at least until... I randomly realized it was making weird noises and not actually cleaning anything up. So I think I need some tools to accomplish this. Let's get tools. This is everything I may or may not need to take apart this vacuum. I really have no idea what's wrong with it, but... Put the vacuum down and start it. No. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I think there's going to be a few obvious starting points. Like this, this, that is, that is really gross. This definitely need needed to be cleaned. Okay, that's, that's gross. Maybe, maybe it's a brush, but I don't see any reason why that would be making weird noises like that. So I think so far, it's definitely- Put the vacuum down and start it. I guess the only thing I really need to do is just, just start taking all out screws, really. I mean, just, just start taking it apart. Just kind of hope for the best. I'm not entirely sure if I need to take apart all these little bumper screws. I'm kind of just, kind of just YOLO in this. I don't know if this is, ooh, there it is. Am I missing a screw? I feel like I'm missing a screw. Is that a screw? That is a screw. I got a little screw here that, oh yeah. I got a little hymen screw here. Like basically, as soon as you puncture this, you can tell that this is no longer a virgin screw. And that tells them that, you know, your warranty is null and void because you, you punctured that. Because that was, that was not seeable until now. Now we can take it apart. Maybe. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. So over here we got, you know, the battery and everything. So, you know, I got some extra junk that I'm just going to go ahead and just store right there for safekeeping. I would imagine there's some sort of a vacuum-like spinning motor thing that's that's probably underneath this. I do see, you know, a screw down there and some other screws that I'm gonna continue to take apart because from this standpoint, from this angle, I don't see anything wrong. It should be 100% working. I don't know why it wouldn't be. So let's just keep digging. Okay, so this is the motor that actually spins the brush. Um, I don't know if that's what's malfunctioning. The thing is, the, the, the thing that I'm smelling is more of like a belt, possibly. I don't, I don't know. Maybe this thing has something inside of it that's messed up. But for now, since this is all kind of like closed off, I can't really get into anything really from here. So if it's that, I don't really know what to do with that. But uh, I still have more screws that I could take off apart 
because this isn't coming apart. So I'm gonna dig a little deeper. I feel like there's probably like a, a belt or something in here that I could get to. Twerk it, baby, twerk it. Twerk it, baby, twerk it. I know the blower motor's gotta be in here. I've taken out so many screws. Look at all those screws. So many screws, and it's still not coming out, but I still got, still got a couple more. There's just, just so many. Yes, Captain. I can see so much better than everybody else in this TV series. I see like multiple wavelengths of everything, but all I wish for is to see the world through human eyes. Oh, that little bitty thing. I don't know what that does or if I should touch it, but this had like this little reflector thing on it. So I'm sure it's probably some sort of like infrared, you know, receiver or blaster or probably a blaster. I don't know. Look at this. Okay, so has this little plug-in module thing right there, right? Right? See that? See that? This just plugs right into right here. So makes it nice and easy. Just just slides in and out. Just like that. Now let's see if this thing will come apart. Oh, still won't come apart. Okay, this has to come. And I think I got another little hymen screw here. I just gotta, look at that. See that? Now they know I've been in this deep. Like they know I've been deep. Okay, now let's see. I think, <coughs> I think I have all of the screws out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, now let's try. I don't know what to do with this. I have no idea what to do now. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, this, this whole thing is it's, was, what's responsible for all the suction. You know, it's got the spinning brush thingy going on up here, right? But this, this is responsible for all of the action. I think... And I could be wrong. I think that there's something inside here wrong. So let's just keep taking shit apart. Okay. Okay. Got that off. Does this come out? Yes, it does. Just like, just like that. It's crazy. This thing is supposed to have, I think, 1800, you know, suction thing, whatever that rating means. PSI or something, not PSI, but 1800 something, something, one or the other. And if this little tiny motor can produce all that, it's kind of crazy. Maybe, maybe that's not that much. So I took it apart. I, I just don't, I don't know what to do with it. How do I even know if this is the, the part that's broken? Like I am so out of my league right now. Okay, so there's no belts or anything in here that uh, I can tell, I can look at or anything like that. So as far as I can tell, this is a motor still. I don't, I don't know how to mess with this. So the big question is, from, I mean, what's making that noise, right? There's gotta be, there's gotta be something making that noise. I just don't know what. I don't know if it's this. This doesn't, I mean, I guess it could be making that noise, but I just don't know how. I wonder if I can plug this in as it is, like reinstall it, 
hook up the battery and power it on. See what it does. I mean, I have no idea what makes me think this thing is going to make any noise powering up, but I guess it's worth a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? I got it to turn on. I just pressed and held it, and I tried to start it, and then it gave me an error three. Oh my god. Dustbin installed. How did you dis Dustbin removed? How do you know this? Like what magic is this? Dustbin installed. Going back to the dock. Okay, I'm making progress now. <laughs> making progress. <laughs> Resuming, going back to the dock. Paused. Okay, all right. Let's try to unplug this again. Resuming, going back to the dock. Okay, I, I made progress. It's this. It's something in this. I don't know what it is. Please put the vacuum down. Fuck you. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, if you haven't already guessed, but I do know that when I plug this thing in. Please put the vacuum down and start it. Please put the vacuum down and start it. It freaks out. Something to do with this. I mean, again, this is, this is a motor, you know? Like, what do you... What do you do with this? Do you touch it? Maybe I need to break the... Ah, fudge. Okay, I, I kind of get this thing apart. So I broke one already trying to get it apart and almost cut myself a couple times. So now... I'm just kind of sitting there thinking, I wonder if I can just put this thing back together and just kind of see if it works, like in general. Like, will this thing work in general? I have no idea if this thing will even function and actually be able to, to do robot vacuum things. I don't know. I have two screws left. Two. I don't know where they go. I looked all over. Obviously, these were on my desk before I got here. And the fact that they completely match up with the screws that I was just taking out and putting into the robot is a complete coincidence. Overall, I think that the these screws are fake news and I'm going to take this upstairs and, and see if it will find its dock and possibly even start a clean and see what happens. Okay, well, it's not making weird noises. It's just going back to the dock, so maybe I fixed it. 
Let's see if it'll clean. Starting the cleanup. No, it is not fixed. That was a solid two hours of my life that I will never get back. And it smells, it smells like something's burning. The same way it did before I took it apart, mind you. So this is, it's broke, right? That's it, it's broke. I'm gonna throw this thing away and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till somebody else asks me to review something else. You know, so far I have reviewed three robot vacuums and I agreed to the first one because I was kind of curious about them. You know, I was like, hey, do these things work? You know, can they be reliable? And what I learned real quick was that you get what you pay for when it comes to robot vacuums. Yes, there are so many brands out there and they're gonna be people that have like, you know, this good experience with a robot. And there's gonna be people who have bad experiences with the robot. And I can easily fall into that category. But as far as price points go, I got a Roborock, uh, like a $200 one. Then I got this like Xiaomi or Xiaomi one, which was a $300 one. And then I got a Roborock uh, $400 one. And the, 200, the $200 one, the cheapest one, I took to work. And all of a sudden, it just stopped working. Just out of the blue, it would not suck anymore. The little mower just, or the blower sucker thingy just completely went out. Did not even try to take that thing apart because the mapping system on that was non-existent. I mean, yes, it kind of sort of knew where it was, but it was just dumb. Like it had no idea where it was and it was not worth the plastic it was put in. The $300 one, which is the one that I just took apart, uh, the blower is making weird noises and now it smells like it's on fire, kind of, sort of. So I think I'm gonna throw that one away. And the $400 one, which was from Roborock, which works really, really well. I did a review on it, I liked it, but as I stated in that review, whenever it gets to a thick part of carpet, it just randomly stops working. So I took that to work because carpet has thin, uh, thin carpet. So now I've gotten three vacuums for review. Two of them have broke and one of them is at work because that's all that it can handle. But the whole point of that story was the $200 one, no idea where it was, right? It would just fumble around the uh, black, their first, it was black one that I got. It had no real mapping system. It kind of sort of knew where it was, but it was just really dumb, just kind of stupid. This white one that I got, the mapping technically was a little bit better, but for the most part, it is still kind of lost. Although it handled everything like a champ until it stopped working. And the $400 Roborock one that I have at work now has the best, absolute amazing mapping system that I've used out of all of these. I just can't use it on thick carpet. So thank you for watching. If anybody out there represents a good robot vacuum that they want me to test out, I'm down for another one because now I need one at my house. So make it a good one. Maybe I'll test it out. Thank you all for watching, like, and subscribe and have yourself a fantastic afternoon.